What's up, guys? It's Bo Nickel and Anthony Kassar here. We're doing a Big Ten video rewind. We got uh, the Big Ten finals at heavyweight. Gable Stevenson versus my boy, Ant the Champ. How we doing, Tony? Doing well. <laughs> we'll get it rolling right away. What's your mindset coming into this match at this point? I'm really just trying to pull my single straps down as far as possible. <laughs> um, you know, I'll give the fans what they want. Just excited to finally get out there in the finals and wrestle this match that's been hyped up for a while. You know, there was a lot of talk about him and I wasn't really focusing too much. I trusted, you know, our coaches to give me the the ins and outs of what he was going to try to do. And then from there, it was just focus on get to my attacks and wrestle my match and have some fun. So I was pretty pumped. Keep those straps low. <laughs> we start kind of just feeling each other out here. I think there's a little exchange right away. He goes for outside step. I go for a V shot. and. He had some pretty solid hips off the bat. He keeps his, his legs pretty far back, so it's hard to get mm -hmm. to that double. Kinda, I knew he came out hard, so I knew I had to kind of weather that storm. And there was a lot mm -hmm. of like little little things going on that are kind of to the normal fan they can't really see, but a lot of like hand fighting positions that you know kinda, uh, you know make sense more later in the match. Kind of just feeling out my Russian tie, how he reacts. He's kind of getting to my to my uh, back legs, seeing how I react to that, and like there's a lot of things that kind of. Um, you know, we learn about each other throughout this first period. So right here you see he's got the collar tie, you've got the overtie. That's that's kind of a position that you're good at. What are you really looking for there when you're when you're on the outside? Really just trying to move move his upper body so I can get his feet moving. Twenty seconds left in the period here. Looks like we're gonna go to the third period. You know you gotta get a takedown to win. Going to this third, I was like, alright, let's just get up quick. So it's one and one, and we're both, you know, we want to fight on our feet. So he, he's kind of coming out right there. He gets to my, he usually shoots the other leg, but he got to my front leg. And then I kind of paused for a second and uh, didn't block the knees. And I went airborne. So, so right, <laughs> right after that, I was yeah. like, damn, I'm not going out like this. He gets a good, he's kind of hand fighting hard, hand fighting hard, comes to the body, <laughs> and then puts me through the air. Really what happened right there was really underrated. You know, we see a lot of good stuff from Gable. He had a nice pick, a nice shot. You're on, you're flat on your belly right here. There's Why do you keep about a minute. You get freaking thrown through the air, bro. I know. No, no, I'm not, you're not getting thrown anymore. <laughs> I, I just want to point something out because most people don't see this, but you're flat on your belly. There's like a yeah. minute left. He's up by two points here. And this is a huge sequence. This is like literally what the difference is between being a champion and not being a champion because the amount of times that I've seen you or me be at this point in the match, we get the takedown and then we hold the guy down for the rest yep. of the match all the time. But look how quickly you build right back up and get to your feet. So it's about a minute 18, you're up You're up to your feet in less than 10 seconds. And that's huge. You know, now you're down one point, it's not a big deal. You're in the exact same position that you were prior. You got to get a takedown to win and that's all it is. If I let him hold me down for even like another five seconds, Every second is building like his confidence of like, I got this, I got this. Like I was like, all right, that stunk like getting thrown, but then like immediately forgot about that. And just like from all practices and training, like just got right back to my feet. And then uh, I was like, all right, I gotta get that back. And uh, you thought it kind of popped into my head, right? When I got to my feet, I was like, you know, I gotta, I gotta start going now and not, and not wait till like 10, 15 seconds left to score because with his yeah. defense and stuff, it's gonna be super hard. So you kind of see me start getting going earlier in this one. We're at 30 seconds here, so this is go time, without yeah. a doubt. You gotta get to the legs, so pulling that overtie off. Yeah. There it is, nice shot. Pulled up into the angle, finished right to his butt, perfect. Perfect technique there. He's inside on the collar, your overtie, and then you kind of shuck it off. Mm -hmm. Boom, get to there. Yeah. Reshot right in the legs. Now, what's going through your head? The mindset there is like, as you saw me like doing that same type of uh, gets the two on one throw by similar hand fighting to the first and second period. And so I was doing yeah. it the last 20 seconds, but in my mind, like I'm, I'm trying to go, I'm trying to go. So I'm like ready for that opening at any point. So Getting to reach. yeah, so I kind of lured him into that hand fighting battle that we've been in the, most of the match. And then right. from there, the second that we separate, like I shoot in. So his legs are too far back still for me to get to that double. And so right. instead of running through the double, I just switched to that, that single leg and then 
since all our momentum's going forward and kind of diagonal. Um, and I'm not really going to finish that takedown because I could tell we're going to go out of bounds before I get to his legs. I just kind of yeah. sit that one knee back and bring all both of our weights back the opposite way and, and then wow. brought his weight down and was able to secure the, secure the two there. At this point, I'm like one mat away. I'm freaking out. I'm like jumping up and down, going ballistic. But, you know, you seem calm. You seem ready to go. Yeah, I'm just, I'm pretty, you know, happy that I got the takedown because in my <laughs> mind, like, like the time was ticking. Like every second I could feel, I could feel. And so when I yeah. got the takedown, um, I was like, all right, I, I got 19 seconds to hold this dude down. I think the only thing that you're really worried about right here at this point is the stalling call because you know you can hold the guy yeah. down. We drill this all the time in practice room, hold the guy down for 30 seconds. So I'm just trying to stand up the arms and then here, yeah. I don't know how I kept him from coming over. <laughs> the only reason I was able to stop it is from Warner doing that every, yeah. every day um, and trying to hop over me. So I kind of had that feel, that feel where um, just kind of stay calm and adjust my hips a little bit and keep that arm tight because as much as yeah. it's kind of extended, I just kind of have to get my hips back out and fall back over. I know it's big deal, big crowd. They're right on the mat. We're in Minnesota. What yeah. are you letting the fans do here? <laughs> so yeah, he stood he stood up pretty quick and I got the return. And then uh, yeah, I turned to, I had like my, my pops and my, my uncles, a couple of fans and uh, the Penn State fans, they're all going wild. And uh, a celebration just popped in my head that Actually, uh, it's from Cristiano Ronaldo. He, after he like scores a goal, he goes uh, like, "Comma, comma, I'm here." And so uh, I've I've seen that celebration uh, since I was a kid, and so it just kind of popped back in when everyone was going crazy. And I, love it. I got a sense that they were they were like surprised. So I was like, "Hey, hey, let's let's calm down, let's calm down. The champ's here." 